Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips. This time I'm going for Windows shortcuts and how they can be very useful. I'm going to try and squeeze this into 10 minutes and uh, there's a lot to get through. So what I'm going to begin with is killing a process. Basically, I've got iTunes um, iTunes here. It's got a lot of music and it frequently locks up. So what can I do about it? I can press Alt Control Delete and go to the image name of iTunes.exe, press M process takes too long so right click no shortcut task kill dot exe exe means executable so it's a program slash im now as I said when I did this before image name that's what I am for and then iTunes dot exe so this will kill iTunes so see it's here I'll try and be as quick as possible here and it's gone. <laughs> so that's killing iTunes. Uh, shut down your PC instantly. Shutdown.exe hyphen s hyphen t double o. Shut down program with hyphen s meaning shut down with a timer of nothing. That's shut down. Restart, kind of the same thing. Shutdown.exe hyphen r hyphen t double o. Restart this time with a with a time of naught. I'd show you these working but obviously you won't see me anymore because the computer will turn off so <laughs> and log off is shutdown.exe hyphen L hyphen T double O. Log off with a time of naught. Log off. Okay so that's shutdown restart log off kill iTunes. Okay, application arguments. What we just did was commands against a program. So we said hyphen t with a timer of naught. Uh, what you can do is you can have uh, the same sort of thing, but this time you can have uh, open files. So you can have C program files, notepad++, notepad++.exe. Notepad's my notepad++ is my notepad replacement. So what you do is put this in quotes, which is the location of where you find whatever program you want to open. Uh, you can do that with a browse button, I think. Press a space, and then in quotes, type what uh, what file you would like to open. Uh, most programs only do one, but because Notepad++ has tabs, you can do two. So another space, and then in quotes, heart.txt, and then you see it will open both of these when I run Notepad. Um, you, I think that's limitless, actually, for tabs instead of two. So when I run Notepad, system.log, heart.txt, so keeping with the Valentine's theme and a scan I did this morning so exit that same thing with Firefox uh, this time with web pages so you've got the where the program's located here in quotes then a space and then a website I want to open and then a space and then another website I want to open and then a space and then another website I want to open that's ok uh, double click that and you'll notice that it's trying to load all my websites so that's that's that. Drag files here. What we did was when we said to open those files is associate the file with the program. What you can also do is drag the file onto the program. These are just these are unmodified shortcuts taken straight from my start menu. Drag them and it will open it with the program. Open it with Firefox and it will open the file with Firefox. It's useful for web developers because you can put all your browsers in a folder and drag them onto each one. Uh, got a sound here, put into Winamp and it plays straight away. Put it into Sound Recorder and you can edit it. So they're quite useful things to have. You can just have a folder full of shortcuts and drag files onto each one and they'll open them. Okay, DOS, if I explain to you what DOS is very quickly, CMD start run type in cmd you'll notice you have a big black box here you can run several useful commands for windows but you can also run them straight from shortcuts so no shortcut i'm going to type in we're going to ping google so we're going to type in ping www.google.com what ping does is sends a packet which is just like a small signal to google and then that Google will then respond to say it's received it. So press ping Google. 
double click it and you notice we're pinging it and it's replying and it's finished so that's ping google another useful one is to know your IP address so you say IP config next my IP address finish run it you notice that it flashes up and disappears so what do we do about it we type in cmd which is what we did in the run you can make this into a new shortcut or edit the shortcut you just made cmd IP config sorry cmd slash k which means run it but don't close the box so this is going to run IP config and it's not going to close the box I won't scroll down so you see my IP address okay another one uh, basically I have a folder full of WAL files these are Winamp skins and what I want to do is rename them all uh, to have dot zip on the end because basically you can change these to zip and uh, edit the the graphics inside the zip files uh, just make sure you've got tools folder options view make sure you've got hide extension for known file types unchecked because then you can see that these are WAL files and you can change them so if I go to try and rename this now to zip what it does is renames them all to dot zip dot well, which is no use at all. So if we undo what we've just done, so it's back to the wells here. Make another shortcut. This time we're typing cmd slash c, which means run it and then close it, but we still need that command. Uh, ren, which means rename. This is a DOS command, but we can now run it using a cmd box everything dot wow which means start the star means every, everything so all of these file names dot wow to all the file names again dot zip so we're not changing the file name but the extension of it uh, press next so we're going to say rename wow to zip hopefully you're getting this right click then properties we're going to take out the start in because it will try and run it in Windows directory. So press OK. So now you can drag this into any any folder you want. Double click, flashes, and they've all changed. So again, you can just drag this into any folder you want. Another useful one is if you want to hide specific files. So you say cmd slash k, sorry slash c, so you're closing the box afterwards, but you still need to have that switch there. Ren, uh, sorry no, attrib, which is attribute. Uh, what I've got, sorry, I've got a, a whole folder here full of random files, and I only want, I'm go, for the test, I'm going to only hide PowerPoint presentations. So attrib, anything dot PowerPoint, which is ppt plus h, add the hidden property to ppts, press next, then we say hide all ppt, and again don't forget to right click properties, take out this WinDIR thing, so you can put it in any folder, so if we run it uh, here so you can see, double click, and they've all gone to hidden, then you can go into it again, and this time type minus h and you'll notice that they all come off hidden so if I put this into this folder make a random PowerPoint presentation file I want to hide it so we're going to go plus h double click and it's hidden it's very useful if you want to hide certain images certain videos and it's come off again and that's about it really, uh, these are all the things I've managed to find uh, from my DOS days basically. If there's any secret things you know, any tips, tricks, uh, post a response, write a comment, whichever. I would love to hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching my video and please subscribe.